Uh, it's that time again, one of my favorite times, and that's Godot feature updates. And the latest update from Godot version 4.3 is quite a whopper. So let me cover some of the things I'm most excited about with Godot 4.3. And uh, feel free to comment below with the things that you're most excited about and if there's anything that you want to learn about in future tutorials. First on the list, Pile Map Layers. As a 2D game developer, this is one of my favorites. Prior to version 4.3, if you wanted to add layers to your tile maps, you had to add them in the inspector, which I didn't like. But this has now been simplified with the introduction of the new tile map layer node, which replaces the old approach. The new tile map layer nodes are more intuitive to use, in my opinion, and fit more in line with Godot Engine's design philosophy in general. And don't worry about your old tile map nodes because there's a handy feature that will help you turn them into tile map layer nodes with one click directly in the editor. Next up, animation keyframe copy and paste. Now this is not a big feature, it's just a small quality of life update, but I love playing around with my animations and the new copy and paste functionality will make my life so much easier. That's all. Next is the improved pixel art stability. Again, because I like to make 2D games and, and I'm particularly fond of retro pixel art style, um, this one's a favorite of mine. A common gripe in the past with Godot's 2D has been unstable and jittery visuals when using and working in a retro low-res style, but the contributors on this update improve the calculations which are used. It drastically improves the transforms and the overall visual presentation of low-res sprites. Next, new audio resources. I just did a video about uh, doing some like a music manager, but man, these new audio resources are awesome. The new audio resources in Godot 4.3 will introduce a few new and powerful ways to interact with and play back music. There are three of them. The first one is the audio stream interactive node. This allows you to set several clips as sub streams and edit the transition table between them. There's an audio stream playlist, which allows for sequential or shuffle playback of a list of streams. And last but not least, an audio stream synchronized node, which allows for synchronous playback of several streams and also allows you to control the volume of each stream. So if you've ever wanted to make a rhythm based game in Godot, it's never been easier than it is now. Last on my list is the new Parallax 2D node. Again, I mean, I'm super biased, right? Loving the 2D stuff. But a favorite of 2D devs has always been parallax background effects, especially if you're making a side-scrolling game. While the previous versions of Godot had support for parallax layers, the new and improved parallax 2D node is simpler to use, interfaces more seamlessly with the engine's ren rendering and effects, and it boasts improved performance. And of course, once again, they've added a converter for parallax nodes. So. Don't worry about updating your old projects because it should be super quick and easy. And there were a lot of other awesome features in this update, web threading and audio enhancements, which if you're like me and you participate in game jams, this is really gonna save your butt when you get into exporting the Godot 4 games because there's been some issues with that in the past. 2D physics interpolation. This is just awesome, especially if you've got a, a highly demanding game and you need to tone down the, the tick rate on your physics process, but you still need those smooth, high rate visuals, an overhauled visual shader editor, native FBX import, some amazing updates to rendering and new compositor effects and so much more. So again, comment below with what features and updates you're most excited about. And I wanna give a quick shout out to the Godot team and all the awesome contributors who make these updates a reality. And if you wanna help my channel grow, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Godot tutorials and content. And as always, thanks for watching.